And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City up against Inter. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. Here's the Manchester City lineup. Everson is the goalkeeper. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the striker today is Victor Rosimhe. Lining up. Number 31, Everson. Number 29, Aaron Wambasaka. Number 3, Ruben Diaz. Number 47, Phil Foden. Number 16. Inter's lineup is as follows. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Nicolo Barella plays with Hendrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club kings of Europe? Ozim Hen. Ozim Hen. Nicely timed tackle. Jan Zoma. Chalanoru. On to Turan. Pointed strongly to win the ball. Excellent vision from Juan Quadrado. One of the final analysis, a bit harmless. Well, we have to say, Stuart, respect and admiration grows for Kevin De Bruyne with each passing year. So many attributes. What are you looking for from him in this game? Well, Derek, we know he can score goals in many different ways. But I think he's in his most dangerous when he's running with the ball. Well, it might still work out for them. Still trying to make something happen. He can't hold on to it. Oh, great defending. Well, they've made their intentions clear here. Inter have started the game really well in these opening minutes. Can they put it away? Well, no damage done. Victor Ozimhe. A lot of forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Now, what can he do? Oh, and it goes! The opening goal in the UEFA Champions League final. see this again this is counter-attacking football at its very best and Ronaldo finishes it with so much quality just look how much power he hits this with it's a top class goal to restart the game it's going to be interesting to see how they reply to that setback
Barella. The ball with Martinez. Martinez. And the flag raised. Offside it is. Victor Ozimhen. Chukwueze takes aim and a crisp effort just over the top. Martinez and he has options available Quadrado beats it in but keepers ball they'll be disappointed with that delivery they've given it away Takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Possession seeded by City. Barella. Quadrado. And playing it through. That was going in. Hand does the trick. Well, that was a great opportunity to get themselves level. The Inter still trail here, mainly due to that brilliant save by the goalkeeper. A City free kick forthcoming. Clattered away. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Chalanoru and Inter might be able to cash in here and he's through here still possibilities superb chance that is how to keep it out of the net so a corner for Inter what can they do with it It's a short one. The cross was very much on, but not the end result they were hoping for. This might be ideal for the counter. And he's in. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, yes! What a classy goal! And make no mistake, there aren't many in the game who would have the confidence to even try it. Well, as you can see, they don't come much better than this. It's a goal of the highest quality. Wonderful piece of skill.
so underway once more. 2-0 the lead here. Cristiano Ronaldo. Chalanoru. Now with Mkhitaryan. Martinez. A chopping challenge. And the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well cleared away. And Inter with acres of space out wide. Varela. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. A real opening now. And keeping it out. Pavard. Barella. The ball with Martinez. Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now here at Wembley. So back in business here. The ball is rolling again and Inter facing an uphill climb. fourth in terms of possession Martinez and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save substitution then let's see how it affects the match Delivering it. Inter unable to retain possession. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Rodri. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Varela. Having to shoot. Easy save. Well, not great from the keeper. And he's made headway. Chance still on. Well, he has the chance. He went for power. He might be regretting that now. Well, he got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor and miss. Substitution for Manchester City. A change in the offing for City. Chalanoru. On to Turan. It's with Chalanoru. Well, it could be on for him here. And the ball is loose. And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates. But what a first save that was. Turan. Crossed into the penalty area. And they got into that crossing position, but dealt with defensively. Fernando Silva. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Barella. Sensi has it. A 
and a tidy challenge. Chukweze. Options in the middle. De Bruyne. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. City moving forward with purpose. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Chalanoru. Marco Arnautovic with it. Martinez. Could pull one back here. It's still alive. Resting like that will help the cause. And he takes on the shot. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. He's driven in the corner. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. Alessandro Bastoni. Chalanoru. And Pavard on the ball. Well, if you're going to challenge like that, it has to be spot on. What did the referee think of it? technique you've got to say well I don't think he'd be taking the next free kick there's one or two players that are particularly unhappy with him and it's gone out of play goal kick coming up well there's a reason why we're highlighting Cristiano Ronaldo he's been very creative out there Stuart well what can you say about him today he's been a real live wire full of tricks great feet and good goals as well top stuff Now in a more than decent position. Oh, great goalkeeping! Well, that's a top quality save. Great anticipation. Who can they pick out? Well, you can't really hit them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. comes to nothing in the end really should have made more of that so a personnel change then Successfully got past him. Less than convinced. And still danger here. Well, sadly for him, chipping it over the top. Well, that's a waste of a good opening. That's a really poor attempt. Absolutely cruising to victory today. 
so I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. And the conditions look pretty good for the catcher attack. The brain net. Possibilities inside the box. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. Good pull one back here. Fall is loose. Sensi. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. And there it is, full-time, Manchester City, Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement for them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester City. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters well these fans have certainly played their part haven't they they'll savour these moments they've travelled far and wide to follow their team they're loving every minute of this and why not they deserve it a performance of fire as well as ice they held their nerve when that was necessary and these celebrations will run long into the night These are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. The Champions League victors, Manchester City.